Hi, I'm Brett Kelly, R&D engineer here at 45 Drives. We want to make it really, really easy for our customers when buying their Storinator to know exactly what OS is right for their needs. Now, our storage solution is built on top of free and open source operating systems. This includes FreeNOS, CentOS, Debian, Ubuntu, and Rockstore. Now, because there's a lot of them, it's hard to choose which exactly one is right for you. So we've kind of made two categories to, to simplify this. Your general server OSs and NOS appliances. Now your server OS, that would be your CentOS, your Debian, your Ubuntu, your FreeBSD. Now these are wide open, incredibly powerful tools that can do anything really, computing wise. But you need to know how to use them. You need to be a little command line savvy to get the most out of it. Now where a NOS OS is built on top of a server OS, but it's got a nice graphical user interface, most likely over the web or something like that, and it's geared towards building storage, only doing storage, and for ease of setup. So with this video, I'll break down both operating system categories, give a use case for both, and this will help users determine what exactly OS is right for their needs. So as I mentioned, a NOS appliance is basically a server OS with a management GUI laid on top of it. This management GUI is what makes it the appliance. It is streamlined and only offers you what you need to get your storage up and running very quickly. NOS appliances really don't require you to have an, a dedicated IT employee to manage your system. You can just set it up pretty quickly by yourself and administer it without anything too scary popping out. All right, so two of our favorite NOS appliances are FreeNAS and Rockstore. Well, these appliances are pretty simple to set up. They have slick web interface for management that really allows inexperienced users to get set up and fully operational very quickly, not to mention to keep it all running pretty easy. FreeNAS is a high-performance NAS OS. It's built on top of FreeBSD, and it utilizes the ZFS file system and it is meant for users who do not have a vast background with using BSD or other Unix-like systems. And then there's Rockstar. In a lot of the ways, it's like a cousin to FreeNAS. It is just as high-powered, it is just as easy to use, but it's built on Linux rather than BSD, and it uses the ButterFS file system. Like the file system he uses, it's kind of a newcomer to the storage game, but it has a very dedicated and talented team working on it, continually giving us better and better and better versions. Let's take video production professionals as an example. In today's world, 4K video is pretty much becoming standard. Now, that's awesome for consumers, but for creators, it's A, a lot of storage, and B, a lot of bandwidth. To put this into perspective with our Storinators, a video production professional needs only three things. The Storinator mass storage server itself, a pre-configured, pre-installed NAS OS, and then to have it connected to their network. And they're ready to go. Centralized, speedy, safe data. So in contrast, using a server OS gives the user the freedom to do pretty much anything and can use that OS to achieve any compute solution that they can really dream of. So with that being said, with a server OS, you do need to have enough knowledge with the command line to get it up and running. But once you've set it up, it'll pretty much run its own with little intervention and really achieving this freedom and flexibility that the server OS allows. All right, so CentOS, which is a very common and popular server OS, is the free and, free and open source version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Now, it is a favorite among veteran Linux users due to its stability, its reliability, and it's just well-documented and supported in the community. So really, at the end of the day, the biggest draw of the server OS is the freedom it allows the administrator to customize the security and safety of their data of their particular storage needs. There's one final point I want to bring up. If users are in need to scale their storage beyond one server, then you need to go with a server OS and use a recommended clustering software 
in our case, GlusterFS. It is a free and open source, high performance, easy to use, and very stable software package that is well supported by all the server OSs mentioned in this video. So your storage solution can really be as simple or as complex as you need it to be based on what operating system you choose. Both will achieve what you need, but there's just varying levels of complexity. So remember, ask yourselves the question, what is your experience with using the command line? Or do you wish to use a GUI for all your management tasks? Or do you need scalability? So it really comes down to if you want to use a GUI or not. With a NOS OS, you can do every task you would need to administer your storage from a single web-based GUI. While the server OS requires you to feel comfortable navigating the command line, albeit you will have a lot more freedom. With that said, if you want to use scalability and the support of a clustering software, you will need to use a server OS. So there was a brief breakdown of the features and differences between server OSs and NOS OSs to help you, the end user, really decide what is the right operating system for your storage solution. If you have any questions or comments at all, please feel free to throw them in the comments section below or email us at info at 45drives.com.